Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got this dip system that I got from Born Pretty. It came with the dipping system base, activator, top coat, and a brush saver. And it came with three pots of colors. This first one is Sorrow Time. The next one is Angel Dream. And then this last one is Crystal Love. Now, the Crystal Love is pink. And this one looks white and this one looks white but I'm thinking this one looks more clear when you actually do it on the nail I've already opened the pink one they do come with a um, seal around them and they came in a little bag so these are 10 mls and I will leave a link for where I purchased them down below it was either eBay or Amazon so I will leave a link for them down below I've also got out my little handy little brush to dust off the dusties. I've um, applied already one coat of Nail Ticks Formula 2. I cleaned off my nails last night and got them ready for manicures and just put on my Nail Ticks Formula 2. So that will be under there. Um, I, I don't know that it's recommended that you do that, but that's what I did. So I'm going to get everything open and ready and we're going to hop right on into this. Okay, I'm going to go in and apply one coat of this base number one and I will be dipping into the light pink one first. Uh, very new at this. This is, um, I've done dipping systems before, but I didn't, they were so new that I didn't, I didn't really know what I was doing then. So, dipping down in, leaving it for just a couple of seconds, and then pulling it out. <coughs> tapping off the excess and then I'm going to brush them all off. I'll be right back. Also, I forgot to mention that they did come with a foil um, protective top also. So these are packaged really well for shipping, which is a good thing because these are coming from far away. So I just use my little manicure scissors to cut it off and that's that. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the base again, but I'm just going to do it on the tips and I'll be dipping into Angel Dream. It's the white powder. So I'm brushing as much of the glue off of this brush as I can, and I'm just going to try to haphazardly do a French tip. And I'm not really good at this, so I don't expect it to be perfect. And that's, you know, it's the learning curve that we talk about all the time. And I'm going to do some stamping on it to make it, you know, not look so uneven. So I've got that in there, and I'm going to dip in, leave it for a second or two, and then pull out and tap it off. And there we go. Now, it's not real noticeable at first. That one's definitely not showing up, but you can tell the other ones I've already done, they're starting to already show up. So I'm going to dust off, and uh, first I'm going to close this, put it to the side, and then I'm just going to dust it off. Definitely liking it so far. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go in with the dipping system number one again and this time I'm going to use the crystal clear and it's called sorrow time so I will be back when I'm ready to do this nail I'll be right back alrighty so here we go with our last round of the base and this time I am covering it with that clear And it's a little bumpy looking, but we're going to do some filing here in just a little bit. So it'll all be okay. Leave it in there for just a couple of seconds. Pull out. And there we go. I'll be right back. Okay, before I put this part away, I wanted to show you how to take care of this so that you'll be able to keep using it. This is basically glue like killer super glue. So I brushed as much as I could off of the cap, or the brush, the cap. I'm gonna take a paper towel and wipe over it with that. And then I have a lint-free wipe with some, not, some acetone. And I'm just gonna wipe around that real quick. Then, 
<laughs> got stuff sticking to me. I'm going to just remove the brush from the brush saver. I'm going to slide the brush from the base down in there, screw it tight, give it a good little shake, and then unscrew it. it up really tight. That way I'll be able to open it next time I want to use it. Alright, I'm going to go in with my little brush and just do a little bit more brushing to get any loose bits off. And now we are ready for, and see I'm going to do some filing, so anything like that will go away. I'm going to go ahead and apply the next step, which is the activator. It's number two. I'll be right back when I'm ready to show you how I apply that. Alright, so here we go with the activator. I'm going to make sure that brush is loaded up. And it's really hard to see that it's doing anything. But you can see it gets a little different of a look to it. So now that I've applied that, I'm going to let it dry really good before I do my filing. So I'm going to take like a five minute break and I'll be right back to show you. I'm going to straighten these up because right now they're a little chunky and bumpy looking. We're going to make them look gorgeous though. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I'm ready for some filing. I'm going to get my little dust collector going. So it is going to be a little louder than normal, but um, I'll try to make it really quick. And if you have to, turn down the volume. I've never ran this. I always do voiceovers, but this is a straight through video today. So let's get right on into the filing. So I like to do the side walls first, do the sides, it kind of gives me an idea of the shape I'm going for, and then I'm going to do the end because it's rather thick, and I am using the coarse side of my Revlon file. I'm going to run across the end real quick, make sure I don't have anything that's going to be snagging, and I'm going to just run over the whole entire nail with that rough grit. I don't know what level of grit that is on this file, but it is the rougher side because I want to knock, knock that down and make it smooth. Now I'm going in with the shape and buff side and this is the smoother side. I'm going to run around the sides and all over the whole nail. Cross that end again. And that's feeling pretty smooth. We're getting there. Like I said, I'm going to try to make this quick because I don't know how loud that dust collector is going to be on camera. Never, never listen to it. Alrighty, so there we go with that. Alrighty, I am back. And before I head on to the next step to get all that dust off, I did brush it off with the brush, but there's still a lot of residuals. So I'm going to use my 91% alcohol and a little lint-free wipe. Take the cap off of it, silly girl. And we're just going to spray a little bit on there and run it around all of the nails. Now, it doesn't say to do this on their website on the instructions, but, um, you know, sometimes I just dance to my own drum. Alright, so we've got those done. I'm going to let these dry and then we're going to go in with the number three, the top coat. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to go ahead and apply some of this top coat to this nail. And I can tell you, I don't know what I've done where, but it's kind of looking a little grainy. I don't know if it's because it's, you know, clear or what, but it um, looks a little grainy, not too bad. In fact, that nail looks better than the rest of them, the one I just did. So I'm going to let these dry, and then I'm going to go in and apply one more coat of number three, the top coat. Alrighty, here we go for our final coat of top coat. It's still looking a little grainy. Um, I, you know, I don't know if it was user error or if that's just how it's going to look. But I can say I've done it. So there we go. They look pretty good. I mean, I'm not as good as I'd hoped, but <laughs> you know, 
we got to practice things to get better at them. I can tell you that the thickness on my nail is really nice. I can see this being great for somebody that's trying to grow their own nails and um, you have weak nails. This definitely adds to it. I don't know that you necessarily need to do this many coats. And, uh, but I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to do some nail art. I'll be right back. Alrighty, my friends, I have let this dry and um, it's very rough, very textured, very bumpy. I'm not really pleased with it. So I'm going to top it with some Fast and Hard and hope that that will help smooth it out and be a viable manicure <laughs> so that I can maybe put some nail art on it and enjoy it for a couple of days. Um, if you have any tips for these, you know, dip systems, if you have any idea why these might have turned out the way they did, let me know down in the comments. Like I said, you know, this I've used a dip system before, but I didn't do any of the filing afterwards, and, and it was a colored one, so I don't know if that made a difference. I am going to let this all dry down. I am going to slap some nail art on it, and hope that it will redeem this manicure for just a little bit so that I can wear it and uh, so as soon as this gets dry I'll be right back alrighty my friends today I'm gonna be stamping with this beauty collection zero one plate I've got my monocle stamper and my beauty scraper out I'll be using two Nicole diary stamping polishes this one is from the spring series and it's called the pleasure it's very light purple and then I've got a little bit darker purple and this one is NS11. I'm going to peel off that blue film, give it a quick wipe with some acetone. I'm going to scare the wedding enough acetone on there. And I'm banging you around. I am so sorry. So here we go. We're going to wipe that down. And let's pick an image. You know, I like all of them. <laughs> That's what happens when you play nails. I think I'm going to use something a little different today. I'm going to use this image right here. So let's just hop on into it. I'm going to do kind of like a gradient stamp. I'm going to use these two, color, these two colors and it'll be a little blended in the middle. There we go. Great. Pick up. Oh goodness, I had to pick one that I've really got to study on. Wouldn't you know it? Okay. <laughs> there we go, though. Alrighty, got that one done. Let's do some more. I'm going to clean this off on a lint roller. And I'm going to clean this plate off with the acetone again. banging stuff around over here. So I'm going to kind of blob it on. Let's see if we can do it the blob method. <laughs> so there we go. Very nice. I think that worked out pretty good. We'll go ahead and do this thumb. And there we go. So I guess this is kind of like a negative space manicure. Got to clean that plate off again. And the stamper looks good, so I don't have to worry about that one. So this is working out pretty good, doing the little, the bigger blobs up at the top. Seems to be getting enough polish on there to fill up that image. And I figured I would use this plate today since my nails are so short and these images are kind of short so there we go and I'm going to clean that off again. Now for my accent nail I'm just going to reverse these. I'm going to use more of the light purple and do the dark purple in the middle just to kind of give it a little bit of something different. There we 
go. <laughs> I like it. All right, one more. And I'm going to go back to the darker purple on the outsides and the lighter purple in the middle. There we go. And, oh goodness, get it together, girl. There we go. Alrighty. Alrighty, I'm going to clean up this excess off of my finger with a piece of tape. I kind of got crazy with the Burt's Bees this time, so um, it's making the tape <laughs> kind of stick or not want to pick up. So I am going to go in with my little cleanup brush right here and just go ahead and tidy that up. I don't feel near about bad as about using the uh, acetone when I know that my nails have been protected with the Burt's Bees some. Alrighty, so I guess we need to put some top coat on these. Alrighty, I'm going to top this one with the Fast and Hard again. This uh, manicure has just been a little bit of a struggle for me. But like you all know, I share it all. The easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and the tough stuff. So, there we go. Let's get Woody out here. Do a little bit of cleanup. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So, that is it. I'm going to be just 100% honest. I hate this manicure. <laughs> and I know that's that's not fair, but it's, it's not my favorite for sure. And um, I don't know how long it'll stay on. Stamping did help. But it's not my favorite. But considering how often I do my nails, you're bound to be like me and run into that every once in a while. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me your comments down below. I always love talking to you. Before I sign off today, um, I've got a friend that has had a request. Um, she wants me to be sure to tell my subscribers, hug the people you love, and tell them that you love them. Um, sometimes we don't say it often enough and then there comes a day that it's too late and we don't get that chance again so please do that reach out tell people you love them you know it, it's, it's an easy thing to do and it can make such a huge difference in somebody's life so take the time to do it don't assume that they know just take a second and tell them okay and from my friend and me we want to wish you all a good day and until next time be good to those around you but most importantly be good to yourself i'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>